So we really only have a couple things left here in the form, and that is to style these uh, the checkboxes and the labels that are attached to the checkboxes. If you recall, in the source code, um, we gave everything in this div a class of checks. So we can, first we need to tell this class what it's going to do, and that's basically we need it to float left, and then we're going to do something with the labels on the checks. So the checks, first off, pretty easy. We just need to, that's the div that's enclosing them. And so we just need it to float left and the width is 49%. That's going next to the, um, the, the thing that's holding the select. Okay. And we're going to style the checks labels. Uh, those labels are going to be a font weight normal, a display block width 50%, float left, and the margin top is 3 pixels. So watch for the changes here. Okay, so what we did, let me back over here so we can see this, the first one with the float left just brought it so that it was in line with this. The uh, What we did with the labels, so we told the label that we wanted it to go 50%. Now what about the checkbox, you say? Well, these, this one, uh, looking back, we put the labels we put all the inputs inside the label on this particular one so that we could style it all in one go like we just did. So each label encloses actually the label itself, the words, print design, and the input, the, the checkbox itself. Okay, So that's how we made these line up like this, simply by styling label. didn't leave a, um, any margin in between them. Um, they won't get that close to each other anyhow. If we needed to do that, we could come in and um, do it with, like, say, 49% here with a margin uh, right of one pixel and then cancel that um, by doing a checks label um, last child and canceling that, okay? So the other things that we need to do, um, we'll, uh, we never did style these top buttons and we have a, um, we have a class for that, back to top, and we never put that back to top class in. And that we'll just go ahead and put here. So the A tag inside back to top, uh, we're going to put that margin on it, basically a little bit of um, space at the bottom. Font weight of 700 or bold. Uh, text decoration is underlined. We want, do want them to have an underline and just a little bit bumped up in size. So that just made it a little bit easier to see those and to mouse over them and to know that that's what you're doing with them. Still need to do the footer and that's not going to take very much because we just have one line of type in there. So we need to give it a little bit of height and uh, some padding, that sort of thing. So the background color of the footer is the 1D 130C, and if we go over here to the done, that's this really, really dark 
uh, brown, which matches what's at the top. Um, we're putting a little padding top and bottom of 15 pixels. Font size is 0.8 rem. Uh, we're floating it to the right, making the width of the whole thing 100%, text align right, and uh, the color of the text is white. So, in here, whoops, that's the one that's already done. Here is what we've got right now. And that styling, push it over where we want it to be. So let's take another quick look at this page. How did we do? We've got the this section and the portfolio section and the um, section with the who we are and the contact section with the form. Everything is where it should be for the um, desktop version and the rest of what we would need to do then is to work on the media queries and um, I'm going to do that um, in a couple more videos.